Good morning, and welcome to the Homesteading Green. Today, along with Adam from Enduring to Descent, we're going to be making a chicken watering system. So stay tuned to that. This watering system is one that I have been using for a couple of years. Um, it's one that I created out of supplies that I had at my house because I didn't have the money to go and buy a big watering system from the store. And I actually turned out liking it better than anything I could buy in the store. Um, as you can see here, we have a five gallon watering jug. Uh, you can get, they're all over on Facebook for free or you can get them from your emergency preparedness stores or sections in grocery stores for a couple of bucks. And then just a five gallon water bucket. We have a drill, a Sharpie and a razor um, utility in there. So let's get started. All right, so you're gonna find just any old rock, um, one fairly good size. We're gonna set that in the bottom and then we're gonna stick the jug in and let it fill with water to get the water level. All right, looks like we've got it. Now we're gonna pull this thing out real quick. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this water line on the bucket. Um, I can, the sun's coming down through it so I can see where our water line is. Okay, do I wanna put a couple marks in that on either side? Yeah, let's do it, because we're gonna put two holes in there. Okay, are they gonna be close to each other? No, they're gonna be on opposite sides. Opposite sides, okay. So I've got one mark here. Right around here. One mark here. Okay, perfect. So now you're gonna go ahead and drain out that water so we have a dry workspace to work on. Can you move the block? Yeah, we'll take the one. Okay. So this is our water level, and I'm gonna bring it over so you can see a little better. This is where our, um, the jug would fill the water too. So we need to drill the holes right above there so that it won't ever spill out. Okay. All right, the one in draw circle. Yeah, just draw, draw a, a shape about that. Something so about a three enough. or four inch hole? Yeah, That's probably. That's what you're looking at? Probably a three or four inch hole. Yeah. Okay. Maybe more oblong. Oblong like. Oh, this way? Wider? Yeah. Some more football shape. So when you live in a cold climate, having a football shape helps you to be able to get your hand in there and pull up whatever ice builds up overnight. Ah, oh, good thinking. Oh, if we cut the do it a little higher. Higher than that is still. Okay. Maybe do the other one higher. Yeah. Check it. Okay. So we're making a mark that's about, if you can see here, it's about an inch. So this is our waterline mark. We're going about an inch above that. Um, so that it allows us to be able to, the chickens to go in and be able to drink the water. Um, it gives you some space so it's not leaky. Right? Right. Awesome. So okay. we're just gonna go ahead and drill a couple pilot holes with our drill. Now we're just going to take the utility knife and follow our line. Now if you missed our last video, uh, we went through and showed how to create a feeder. Um, how to make a feeder and it's out of a, a five gallon bucket as well. Um, that you can put, you can fill it full of feed and they can continue to eat the feed out of the bucket so that you don't have to feed them every day. It makes it more efficient to be able to um, keep your chickens well fed and now well watered with this. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check out the video on that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm keeping it above that, that one inch mark.
forgot to mention earlier is they're going to be sticking their heads through here. You don't cut on any of the sharp edges. So make sure you clean it up with a razor blade like Adam was doing. in there and put your water jug back on over. Give it to your chickens and let them enjoy. All right, Trev, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is a really cool project. Super easy. So we turn this over and we allow the water to be able to fill back up. So you can see the water's down here inside the, the reservoir here. The chickens are going to be able to go in and, get, and uh, get the water that they need. Pretty cool. So super, super simple, guys. This is a really, really easy way to be able to have your own chickens. Um, if you would go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel, it really helps us to be able to continue to create uh, fun films like this for you to see and really cool ideas. Trevor's got awesome ideas and we have some cool projects coming up. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.